Hey guys, so I've got something very exciting to show you today. It is this, this little thing here. It is sort of a little replica of a Commodore PET. Now I have a Commodore PET. I've got a Commodore PET 2001, which is an earlier version. Um, this one's a later version. It doesn't have the, uh, the tape player on board. Um, the model's not perfect, but I really, really like it. I picked it up from Thingiverse. The link will be in the description below. And as you can see, it's got a little OLED display that uh, shows the Commodore start screen, the basic start screen. Um, and when you press the two buttons that are on the tape player there, the little data set, uh, it will change what's on the screen. Now it has a DHT22, which is a temperature and humidity sensor. Um, it's got one of those in there so that you can see what the, the temperature is. It's also got a DS3231, which is a little real time clock that you can access via ITC or I2C. Now it's running off an Arduino Nano. Uh, the Nano that I'm using is the ATmega168 version, so it doesn't have a lot of program space, which is a little bit of a problem with this. I would have liked to have done a bit more, but I'd need to pick up a Nano with a, uh, a 328 version of the ATmega chip, so I've got a bit more program space, but it's a really lovely little thing. So it's just a toy, it doesn't really do anything. It doesn't really run basic or anything like that. It's just a, a nice little model. So this is it printing out. Now it took quite a while to print out and I printed out a few different versions. So I've got uh, several of these sort of prototypes lying around. Uh, this is the, the other base unit for it. Uh, and I printed them in transparent PLA, although it looks a bit more like natural PLA. It came out really, really well. The printer did a great job. Uh, I had to uh, print out, whoops. I had to print out several of these little data set uh, models. I redid these models, remixed them myself because they came as a SketchUp model, which isn't really ideal for 3D printing because it had all the insides. So I had to hollow them out so that I could put, run a cable outside of it. So you'll see that I did a few different sizes until I came to one that I was happy with. I stuck a little red LED in there so that you can see the powers on. I just think it's quite a little cute kind of desk toy to show you the time and the temperature and the humidity. Anyway, I hope to make a few other little retro computers. I'm looking at perhaps picking up a, uh, an old like model of a, a PDP-8 or something, something with a, a tape, a real kind of storage medium and actually have those turn and maybe have a, a little monitor showing what's, uh, what the time is on that as well. I think they're ideally suited for that kind of project where you're just gonna have a little tiny display. Um, I'm working on another model for a little IBM data master. Uh, so that one should be fun too. Anyway, thanks a lot guys. Okay, totally forgot something. Uh, I've put the code in the description. If you wanna learn how to make it, I can make a more expanded video on this, but uh, most of it should be self-explanatory. It's sort of I squared C and then a data pin for the DH22. I'm using the SODAC library for the uh, for the real-time clock. I'm using U8Glib for the display and uh, there's a, a DH22 library which is very common. I'll put a link in the description. You can find all of these if you like.